Let's be sure we're in the frame. Yeah, we can come closer oh, here, like that one. Even, even you can step up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can speak. Speak. One, two, three. Who in your family was your nan? I could have helped Kenya. Ni me mujua na mambo ni menifuza ni mambo mengi kabisa. Kuhusu abortion na abortion ni kitu moja mbaya. Mo kumbuka wa sodom na gomora ili malizwa juu ya nini? Ili malizwa ni juu ya kutoa mimba kuwa wanaume kwa wanaume. Mutajionea mengi kuhusu hii video muna yoyo na hapa itawafuza mengi. Mimi nawambia huyo ni kama ametumu na Jehova kwa maana ametumu awafunze kuhusu mambo ya abortion. Abortion ni kitu mbaya kwa maana msichana kama wewe wa shule, unaona mm. shule mingi wameja. Shule mtoto akianza kutoa mimba hiyo kwanza amepoteza maisha yake ya pili mtu kama anaondokea mambo ya abortion aanze kutoa mimba yake baka uzazi inaisha yeye amelaniwa na shetani hiyo ni kama Sodom na Gomora walipigwa kwa moto na Mungu alisema hajasahau ndipo sasa unakuta mambo ya Kenya hii inaharibika iharibiki kwa kitu kingine sisi tumemkubali shetani kuingia hapa kufanya mambo ya Mambo inaitwa mambo ya uasama, mambo ya kufanya shetani aweze kukalia kiti. Mm-hmm. Ajakalia kwa kitu kingine. Huyu mwenye mzungu kutoka Amerika ametumwa na Mungu hapa akuja tusaidie. Msikizeni, msikizeni. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeye amekuja tu na anatoa hii mambo kwa bure. Mm-hmm. Anawaambia muache mambo ya mm-hmm. abortion, kuwa mwanaume mm-hmm. kwa mwanaume uweze pata hata nini? Kusema ukweli tukiangalia mm-hmm. hata ngombe wenyewe ndume na ndume huwezi fungia kwa nyumba moja na sisi tunatafuta mbegu ya kesho mm-hmm. tuangalie hata kama kuna abortion inaambia mambo ya hospitali ni vyema lakini muangalie kuhusu usitoe kwa maana hata ule mwenye kukupa mimba ni Mungu naye Mungu alijua mwenye anaumba mm-hmm. ndani ya tumbo lako na ni asanteni Okay, the, we are talking to the schools you will see those videos of the schools but I have another message not only for the schools, but for everyone in Kenya, everyone in the world, but specifically in Kenya. And that message is that there's a problem. In the Constitution, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, powers from the West, use money illegally to affect the law of abortion in the Constitution. So most Kenyans are thinking abortion is illegal. Unfortunately, abortion has been legalized. Abortion has been legalized because the Constitution says if in the opinion of a trained medical professional the health of the mother is at risk, there can be abortion. The Constitution, if you look, you read the Constitution, it's, and we will show the text in this video, it specifically allows the health of the mother in the opinion of a trained medical professional. Now, most Kenyans will think that means the mother will die, yes. but it's a lie. It's a lie. The health of the mother, in the opinion of a trained medical professional, can mean anything. That means if a woman has the money right now, by the Constitution, she can get an abortion, the doctor, if the doctor will agree, in his mind, to give her the abortion, for any reason he chooses. There is no protection for that child in Kenya, under the law, under the Constitution. We must change this. Let me tell you, many enemies have come against Kenya. The worst ones are the ones coming from Washington, from UK, the people trying to do neo-colonialism, the people trying to change the culture, change the religion of Kenyan people, to make them not to fear God anymore. But there's another enemy, Al-Shabaab, for example. People are crying and saying, why these attacks at Garissa? Why this attack at the shopping center? Let me tell you, if we do not defend the child in the womb from this terror, of abortion. If we do not change the law, if we do not amend the constitution to change this so the child has some protection, there is, let me tell you, there is no protection. Unfortunately, we have been deceived. We have been deceived. There is no protection under the constitution because of that word, the health of the mother. That word can mean anything. It can mean the girl will have stress or she has a cold or she will have stress because she will not finish uh, secondary school. You see, that word can mean absolutely anything the medical provider wants it to mean. And you cannot trust the medical provider. That's the one who's being given the money, who's being given the money, and now the police hands are tied.
Do you understand? The police hands are tied as long as the medical provider will say, ah, her health was at risk. That word can mean anything. How many times, let me say it over and over and over, get it through your mind, that word health can mean anything. These children must be protected. What if we said, oh, it's okay to kill uh, a Lua or a Kikuyu if your health is threatened? Then you say, ah, I feel my health is bad yeah. because this person is giving me stress. Let me take a panga and kill that person. <laughs> you see, you can't do that to people. And we're doing it to God because these are God's children. These are God's children. And while everyone thinks they are protected, in reality, the abortions are occurring. There's nothing the police can do until we change the law. And if we do not change the law, if we do not protect the defenseless children of God, God will not protect us against our enemies, including Al-Shabaab. If we want the help of God Almighty, if we want the help of God Almighty to fight our enemies, to fight these terrorists, we must show God Almighty that we truly fear Him, that we're worshiping Him not only with our lips, saying, Hallelujah. God doesn't want to hear Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God wants obedience. You understand? Obedience. Hallelujah means nothing yes. if we don't give obedience to God. And He won't defend us, He won't protect our country if we don't give obedience. If we disobey Him, if we ignore His children being killed, as you see in this video, God will ignore us. May God forbid. We should repent. We must talk to our MPs. We must talk to the President. We must talk to the DP. We must cry to them all. We must give God's children in the womb, these babies, a defense from abortion. Asante. Dio mana ninawambia. Haya yote yenye unayasikia na huyu ndugu yangu. Kusema ukweli. Diposa unakuta baka watoto wanafanya umalaya. Waingini wameingia katika, katika zile zizi la kujiuza kimwili. Kwa mana haogopi. Wanasema ukimwi ni kawaida. Ukiangalia. Anakuwa nasema ukimwi ikiwa ndani. Ati hiyo si zaidi kwa mana hata kipata mimba atatoa. Na wambia, mungu wa mekasirika na njini, mungu wa takasirika na njini. Diposa na wambia, musikie, afalari tuache mabo ya abushon, na di utakuta tunayendelea. Nae mungu atatuonea huruma, na atatusaidia, na mimi sina mengi, na wambia, asanteni. So God bless you. Mungu akubariki sana. May God help you to defend and protect his children the way you would want yourself to be defended. These pre-born babies deserve the same defense as the born. How do you say that in Swahili? Na kama si jamaliza, nasema, mungu atawabaliki, kama, kama mutayasikia, musiwawe, alie wawe kandani ya mimba, na mungu atawabaliki, na mkumbuke Sodom na Gomorrah. Hiyo ndi ilisababisha wanaume kuwa wanaume na ndiyo hii iko njiani diposa unano mungu anakasirika nasi. Mambo ya ushetani imeja kila mahali baka katika mashule. Diposa Amen. munakuta tunasema Amen. mambo ya abortion diyo imeanza na diposa mungu katuchapa na ukimwi. Mm. Mungu awabariki na mkumbuke kutazama hii sinema ama hii DVD itawasaidia na uyeke kwa mawazo. Iri, wewe unapo enda kanisani, unapo omba, mungu watubarikishie, watoto wetu, na iri hata sisi tuwe country inaye mjua mungu. Mm. Asanteni. Mm.